Hey, I'm Jeremy, and welcome to this Interactive Encoder Shootout. Today, it's vMix versus OBS, two of the most popular software programs for streaming. We're going to compare their RTMP streaming quality in a slightly challenging but realistic streaming scenario. So, let's get going. There are a ton of feature differences between the two programs, so we are just here to compare streaming quality. We use the exact same computer, a production bot Switch 8, for all of our tests. This machine has good, modern specs, but you don't need a powerful computer if you're just doing encoding on it. The video playback comes through an AJA Corbett 88 SDI capture card. If you want to know more about how we test, check out this video where I do a deep dive into our testing methodology, also linked in the description. We did two tests with both vMix and OBS. On the first test, we matched them as closely as we could. We used X264 software encoding, setting them both to the parameters you see here. We put them on an even, level playing field, where the differences you see is just how they tune RTMP streaming under the hood. Then, we did an optimized test, where we set both vMix and OBS to NVENC hardware encoding. We pulled out all the stops to get them to get the best quality we could, but spoiler alert, Optimized and tweaked doesn't always mean better. It's testing time. Before we go on, I encourage you to head to the description and watch all four archived streams in a blind test. Take notes, pick your favorites, and then expand the descriptions inside those videos to reveal which is which. Let's pause so you can do that, and then I'll come back and we can compare notes. We're back! What did you think? Well, if you didn't notice a ton of differences between them, you're not alone. Let's dive right into why. In the matched software encoded streams, vMix and OBS are almost identical. They're both using FFmpeg under the hood, and I think that they both look good. The color gradients show very little color banding. I was really impressed by how well they both handled the fading color blocks on the top right, which vMix's SRT struggled with in our last episode. In fact, this test showed me we need to test vMix SRT versus RTMP because I like how these software RTMP streams look. The colors are good, movement is smooth, and there's minimal macro blocking and banding. Where the software X264 streams struggle a bit is in random noise or confetti. When either vMix or OBS are using NVENC hardware encoding, the static test and confetti are both cleaner. Pausing on a frame of confetti, you can see that it's generally clearer in hardware. However, this is really tricky to pick up in real time. In my opinion, vMix's NVENC quality is worse than OBS, and I'm not a software developer, so I can't tell you why, but I can just see that vMix's hardware encoding shows more color banding. It struggles with these fading color blocks on the top right. OBS looks better, and this is because I was able to tweak the NVENC encoding settings that vMix doesn't give me. For this test, I think OBS's tweaked hardware encoding looked almost as good as its vanilla software encoding most of the time. And you might notice no difference or even prefer hardware for your use case. So where would we rank these? Our viewers at LiveX put OBS software encoding at the top with vMix software encoding very slightly below it. Then I would put OBS hardware encoding and vMix hardware encoding in last. We want to hear your opinions on vMix versus OBS in the comments, especially for stability and reliability. And let us know, what other encoders should we test? I hope this video helped you, and please hit the like button and subscribe if it did. Thanks for your participation, and we'll see you next time.